the nation of Israel had suffered a catastrophic defeat in a major battle. The Israelite army were slaughtered like sheep. Many Israelites were taken into slavery. This psalm then was a passionate plea to the Lord to deliver them from their suffering and helplessness. In his deep sorrow, the psalmist compared their present tragic situation to the days when God delivered their forefathers from slavery in Egypt with his mighty hand and established them in the promised land by defeating the Canaanite nations. Added to their deep sorrow and pain was that the Israelites couldn't understand why God had not intervened but allowed this catastrophe to happen to them. The psalmist claimed that they had remained faithful to God and had not strayed to worship other foreign gods. Why then had God abandoned them? But although he couldn't understand the reason why God had allowed them to face such terrible oppression, the psalmist came to a place where he knew that their suffering was somehow related to the fact that they were identified as God's people. This realization, as well as faith in God's unfailing love for his people, led the psalmist to end the lament beseeching God to urgent action to rescue them. Are you currently going through a difficult situation or feel that you are suffering unjustly? Justice seems to be blind and God seems so far away, and you want to give up as life seems so meaningless and hopeless. Don't! We can't always explain why tragedies happen, especially those that happen to God's people. But like the psalmist, take heart in the unfailing love of God. In difficult times, we can always approach His throne of grace and mercy. Psalm 44 For the Director of Music Of the Sons of Korah, a Maskil We have heard it with our ears. O God, our ancestors have told us what you did in their days, in days long ago. With your hand you drove out the nations, and planted our ancestors. You crushed the peoples and made our ancestors flourish. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. You are my King and my God, who decrees victories for Jacob. Through you we push back our enemies. Through your name we tremble our foes. I put no trust in my bow. My sword does not bring me victory. But you give us victory over our enemies. You put our adversaries to shame. In God we make our bows all day long, and we will praise your name forever. But now you have rejected and humbled us. You no longer go out with our armies. You make us retreat before the enemy, and our adversaries have plundered us. You gave us up to be devoured like sheep, and have scattered us among the nations. You sold your people for a pittance, gaining nothing from their sale. You have made us a reproach to our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. The people shake their heads at us. I live in disgrace all day long, and my face is covered with shame. At the taunts of those who reproach and revile me, because of the enemy who is bent on revenge. All this came upon us, though we had not forgotten you. We had not been forced to your covenant. Our hearts had not turned back. Our feet had not strayed from your path, but you crush us and make us a haunt for jackals. You covered us over with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God, would not God have discovered it, since he knows the secrets of the heart? Yet for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Awake, Lord, why do you sleep? Rouse yourself, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? 
we are brought down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up and help us. Rescue us because of your unfailing love. Let's pray, our loving and gracious Heavenly Father. We acknowledge you as Almighty God, who knows all things, and we give you thanks that you are full of grace and mercy. Your steadfast love endures forever, and your faithfulness is to all generations. You watch over us. You do not slumber nor sleep. In times of trouble, we can look to you for help. We uplift those among us who are suffering unjustly or are facing persecution in your name. We ask for a special portion of your grace to be upon them. May you, O Lord, renew their minds, strengthen their hearts, and refresh their souls. In Jesus' name, Amen.